Okay, this is a video. It's a video request by Gunning Wild One. Uh, it's a VR on showing your BB guns. Well, I'm going to show some of mine. I'm going to try to go through them pretty quick so the video won't be too long. But obviously, we're going to start out with the Daisy Red Rider. If you ain't got one of these in your collection, what's the problem? So, anyway, here's my first one. Now, I'm going to go through them and kind of, if they got a story behind them a little bit, I'm going to talk about it a little bit. But other than that, I'm going to just kind of show you what I got. And I'm going to show pistols first. Here is a Walther PPK with blowback action. See? Loaded. Uh, Sig Sawyer, same thing, got blowback action. This is a Humorex. This is modeled after a, a Glock, supposedly. Had no name about Glock on it or anything and Glock sued them and they had to quit making them. So they don't make this anymore. Now actually they have a Glock license and they sell Glock replicas. All right. Next one up is Crossman 2300. Now this came out of the custom shop, but then I've highly modified it, changed, made my own breech for it and changed the barrel. Uh, it originally came looking like this one. This is a 2300. This is actually my son's here. So was the Daisy Red Rider, but it's in our collection. This is the 2300 out of the custom shop, which Crossman discontinued their custom shop, which kind of sucked, but you can have it in, have them engraved. Uh, this was the pistol, the 2300. This is, it's basically a big brother, the 2400. Same gun, just in rifle form. This has a center point red dot on it. This has a UTG Bug Buster uh, 3 to 9. And this one is my 2400. Basically the same thing, I got a little longer barrel on mine. They are heavily modified inside though. Those run on CO2. Now this one here has a story behind it. It's a Crossman 2200 Magnum. I bought this for my father-in-law probably 35 years ago or more. Uh, he was living in Louisiana and needed something to shoot the moles in the yard as they'd pop up out of the ground. And he shot a bunch of them with it, and after he passed away, I got it back. So it's got, I put a center point red dot on it too. So that's that one. It's in 22 caliber. Now, Benjamin 392. Everybody knows Benjamin pumps. Now, this is the, uh, it's not the latest model they have now, but the last. The last models they had with wood stocks. Uh, I won it in a shooting contest. He, uh, it was, I think it was a hundred yards. You had to hit a cowbell and I'm the only one that did it. So I won this. Needed a little work done to it, fixed it up. Works fine now. I've been still working on the site. I, Put another side on it. I need to make me a blade for it though. Up next is a Hamlery 850 Air Magnum. And this one is in 177. It runs on CO2. It runs on the big CO2 cartridges. Get about 200 shots per, per uh, cartridge. And it is a eight shot. 
Well, I can't get the magazine out right now, but there's an eight-shot magazine in here, so it is a repeater. Uh, story behind this one is it was given to me. It was given to me by a good friend of mine. It, uh, it was rescued out of a... It was, it was still in the case underwater from the Harvey flood, Harvey hurricane flood. It stayed underwater for over a week. And then by the time they could actually get into the house and get get it out and get open up the case, the the barrel had rust all over. It was just it was in really bad shape. Uh, he said, "I don't want nothing to do with it here. If you want it, take it." So I brought it home, disassembled it, cleaned it up. Luckily, the actual insides were stainless and and. Uh, brass and all the receiver is all aluminum pot metal stuff and the barrel was pretty bad so what I done to the barrel was I cleaned it bought a carbon fiber tube and slid it over and glued it on and she works fine now so that's that one story all right this is my only Springer air rifle it's a Sizico XS 46u and 177 now it's an underlever so instead of breaking the barrel open you cock it with this lever here so it's a good gun come from I bought it from flying dragons uh, shoots really good pretty accurate I had a scope on it I stole it to put on a, a rifle that I needed a scope for, so we'll have to get a new scope for it. This shoots pretty accurate out to 50 yards. All right, almost forgot this and had to go in the house and get it. This is another Benjamin uh, 342, no, 347, I believe. Yeah, because. If it says seven on the end, then it's a 177. If it's a two, then it's a 22. So this is a three, 347. This is one of the earlier models. The serial number dates this in the around the early 70s, maybe 75, I think, something like that. Wife picked this up for me at an antique show. <clears throat> Probably paid a little bit more than it's really worth, but the gun's really got some nice walnut on it. It's got checkering on it, which you don't see on the Benjamins too often. Uh, I have plans to refurbish this one and make it look like new. I'm going to rework the checkering and sand it down, clean it up. Got got to need to order a new uh, pump kit for it or seal kit. Get that all sealed back up. Get it looking like new again. All right, now. After that, only thing I got left is custom guns. Now these are custom guns that I designed and built, machine built them myself. And this was my first one. It's a little weird looking. It's a, it's definitely different looking, but it is a PCP running a 3,000 psi tank. It's regulated. I forgot what the regulates on it. It's a 25 caliber. I have had a lot of fun shooting with it. It's mainly just for shooting off the bench. It's too heavy to carry around for hunting or anything like that. But I really like it. For my first build, did okay, I think. It's not the greatest in the world. Not the super accurate, not super fast, but. A lot of fun to shoot. It's got a UTG, uh, what is that? Six to 24 scope. Six 24 by 50. I like UTG scopes. So. All right. My second build. So this gun actually started out as a pistol. I modeled it off the Marauder pistol. The only difference between the Marauder pistol and 
and mine was is this is a single shot and instead of using the trigger group that comes basically the same trigger group as this but a, a higher quality one I used an actual Marauder rifle trigger group on this I have changed it since then from a pistol to a carbine it's got a folding stock on it it's got a I've built this chassis slips standard AR grips got the tripod or bipods on it stuff I also have a well the scope is a UTG bug buster but this one is is the 3 to 12 it's the the newer one that they have and I have a night vision camera mounted on it so I can shoot some coons and stuff at night it's 22 caliber This one is actually my last build I did. This is one I'm probably the most proud of next to the next one I'm going to show you. Kind of equal, I guess. It's a 177 PCP. Got a regulator here. It's got a Lothar Wassel barrel in it, fully shrouded barrel. It's got a UTG. Uh, 6 to 24 scope on it, but this one has the etched glass in it. The uh, big uh, side parallax. It's got a Boyd's thumb hole stock on it. I uh, used a Timney trigger for a 1903 Springfield in it. So it's got a really nice trigger on it. But uh, I'm really proud of this. The uh, this tube and then the air reservoir tube has been hydro dipped in uh, carbon fiber. It's a carbon fiber look, so really proud of this gun. If y'all watch me shooting life savers and stuff like that, this is the gun. The last one is this one that I built from scratch, designed and built from scratch. Now, <clears throat> I've all, most of y'all know what a drilling is, but a drilling basically is like a double barrel with a uh, rifle barrel in between them, maybe over it, under it, dead center, you know, that type of gun. So that's kind of what it looks like when you're looking at the end. <clears throat> and it's heavy, pretty heavy for an air gun. But uh, I designed it all. It is a 308. It actually has a uh, TJ Enterprise barrel liner in 308, one and 14 twist. I don't know if y'all, how many people know of TJ Enterprise barrels. He doesn't have much of a website, even if he's got one, I don't remember. But he's got some good hammer forged barrels. Uh, we got a UTG scope, I think I already said that. I built the stock from scratch. It has a Benjamin Rotter trigger group on this one too. They're, they're, they're hard to beat for a cheap uh, trigger group. If I had to do it over again, I'd probably put the Timney in it, but this one, I'm shooting 150 grain bullets at 832 feet per second. I have taken deer with it. So you got to be proud that you can design and build something and then go harvest you a deer with it or, or any animal. So that's the reason I'm proud of this one as much as I am the blue one. But there's my, there's my air gun collection. So there you go, Guns and Wild 1. Thanks for watching.